talk about a foggy day and today we have the Genesis GV60 for our review and it's going to be quite fun because this is the performance model so stay tuned guys because we're going to tell you everything you need to know about this Genesis GV60 So before we start, I'd like to get the numbers out of the way. So how much is this guy? Well, there's just no international pricing given yet, not even for Kia EV6, so we just don't know yet. But I can tell you this, that the Genesis GV60 starts around 8,500 US dollars more compared to a Kia EV6. What about range? Well, it's a bit tricky to explain because there just isn't EPA or WLTP range given just yes. So let me just show you what the Genesis got from the Korean government officials. As you can see, Kia EV6 has better range compared to the Genesis GV60. So if you want better range, then you should go with Kia EV6. You can also notice that Korean government standard is very stingy. So let's wait and check out the EPA or WLTP numbers soon in the future. And this is what KeyFab looks like. And also take a walk with your Genesis GV60. It's getting ready. And it's got lots and lots of unique features throughout the car, which we're gonna show you pretty soon. But now I'd like to take a moment and talk about the face recognition system and answer some of your questions from the first drive. Okay, let me just leave the key here because I do not need a key. Okay, so the first question was, can I open the door using a digital picture? Looking like this. Uh, first, you need to hit this button right here. Um, so, let's try one more time in case. So, it does not work. So, you actually need your face to open the door. See? Another question was, will it work properly in the very cold, cold weather? Well, it's about four degrees Celsius here and seems to be working fine. And it's even working fine while the water is dripping all over. So, yeah, I think it's a good system. And last question was, how many faces can you register? And the answer is up to two. So, pretty good system. I'm so curious about the 0 60 time, so let me just talk about the battery and electric motors. We have the dual motor system because this is the performance model, cranking out about 360 kilowatts and 700 newton meters of the torque using the boost button. Okay, now let me just show you how fast this Genesis GV60 can be. Okay, let's take the ESC off, two stage. There we go. Put the car into sports mode and go. Well, it's pulling very nicely. It's a very slippery day. And it took 4.4 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour, even this slippery condition. So uh, this time, let's do it with the boost mode, okay? Okay, this time, let's leave the ESC on. Press the boost buttons. Oh my God, it's pulling much harder this time with the uh, ESC on. It only took 4.2 seconds, even in this uh, very slippery condition. It actually snowed here in Korea. So they put lots of, uh, you know, government officials put lots of uh, calcium chloride on the road. So uh, Genesis says uh, this performance model will do not to 100 kilometers per hour within four seconds flat and I think it's possible. I mean, this guy can do better, I think. Oh my God, it just feels like instant power there. Woo. Is there a frunk? Yes, but a tiny one because we have the dual motor system and we have a large clamshell type put on the top. So when you close everything, it closes very cleanly. And uh, Genesis logo on the top, and Genesis says 
it's now thinner so this guy can stay more efficient and rather than a crest grill in the middle we just have openings on the bottom and grill shutter inside that's radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control 360 camera air curtains on the side and we also have led headlamp system so let me just show you the system working in action that's drl headlamp high beam turn signal there's no fog lamp and this is what horn sounds like all right guys and genesis gv60 is also based on the all-new egmp platform that is also shared with hyundai ioniq 5 and kia ev6 and dimensions wise genesis gv60 is the shortest and kia ev6 is the lowest off the ground and actually hyundai ioniq 5 has the longest wheelbase and we also have a plus type door handle and also this almost lightning design elements along the roof line and you can get genesis gv60 with either 19 20 or 21 inches and our tester is the performance model so we have the 21 inches let's see it's wearing 255 40 by 21 inches front and back and now let's go out and check out the braking performance of the genesis gv 60 then a bit more speed no problem it took genesis gv60 about 142 feet to a complete stop just like hyundai ioniq 5 and kia ev6 having the battery on the bottom really makes the car feel much more secure and planted wow and it just pulls like crazy oh my god <laughs> Okay, now let me just quickly show you the second row seat. Seats are very nicely downed, Napa leather, suede and leather piping. So it looks quite nice from here. You guys don't know, I'm about 6'2", and there's good amount of leg room. And headroom is decent as well. Really loving the flat floor on the bottom. We have a double laminate windows that comes down, not all the way, but almost all the way. It's really nice to have manual sunshade for the side. Events on the B pillar, a cup holder, three stage heated seats. We also have a walk in device, USB charging ports, some storage area on the bottom, and we even have a V2L connector, even from inside. Good armrest with two cup holders, and we have a large primary sunroof on the top, but it does not open. So it's a large roof on the top. So with better materials, Genesis GV60 definitely feels more premium from inside. And if you guys are enjoying this, please like this video and subscribe so we can grow this channel together and have more fun. And just like Hyundai Ioniq 5, there isn't any rear window wiper. Really wish we had one back here. And it says Genesis GV60, but it just does not say performance anywhere. That's reflector, that's backup lamp. And trunk seems to be quite... Same as Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6. Uh, we're also given some tools, uh, V2L connector. And of course, you can fold the second row seats to yield more cargo room. Yeah, almost full flat. Okay, now let me just show you the car from the driver's seat, okay? Once you get in, you're greeted with many, many screens. First of all, we have a 12.3 inch gauge cluster, which even shows you the augmented reality turn by turn direction like that. And uh, to the right, we also have a 12.3 inch infotainment screen. It looks good and it also responds very quickly. And we also have a large head up display and also two more digital side mirrors. I don't think you guys will be getting this in North America, but I still think it's not unnecessary because we also have blind spots monitoring system. So I think it's a little bit redundant. You can also use the fingerprint recognition system so you can start driving the car without any key in the vehicle. And you also have this good looking crystal spear. When the car is ready to be driven, it's gonna rotate and give you this dial type gear selector. And when you're all done, it's gonna give you the crystal spear 
again. Uh, it also is connected to the ambient light, so it looks pretty nice. Okay, too much talking. Now let's go out and drive this Genesis GV60 there. Really hope the road is dry now. First, I thought that was a speaker, but Genesis says it's a diffuser. Very interesting. Okay, now let's do talk about the visibility. We have a large windows up to here, but rear visibility is a little bit limited, but we still have blind spots, monitoring system, and also alert system, which will greatly help you during your lane changes. And no problem because you can just press this boost button and pass. Most of the cars. Oh my god. Oof. They can do it over over again. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, let's do talk about the dual motor system. So we have a two motors, one up front, one at the rear, producing about 360 kilowatts and 700 newton meters of torque. Yes, you can feel it even before pressing this boost button. Let me just put the car into sports mode and wow, really feel enormous amount of torque starting from the bottom. One more. <laughs> yes, it's a neck breaker. Really pulls nicely, even up to very high speed. <laughs> and uh, having battery on the bottom really makes the car feel stable. Nicely done. And when you do press this boost button, it's going to give you a boost for about 10 seconds and oh my god. It really pulls like crazy. You can really feel the all 700 newton meters of the tour. Can that save, let's say, five seconds and use it later, but can keep on using the 10 seconds over and over and... Oh man, it's just... It's a neck breaker, really. Three, two, one, one more time. It definitely pulls harder compared to the sports mode. And yeah, I think the, this is the fastest model compared among the Hyundai i 5 and Kia EV6. Really something. And we also have active sound design for the Genesis GV60. Love the fact I can definitely turn it off, but for this demonstration purposes, let's just put it into the largest. Uh, the first one is futuristic. Sounds like that. The second one is the G engine. Wow. And the last one is the E motor. So one more time. Futuristic. G engine and E motor. Uh, my favorite is actually G engine. So guys, do let me know which one is your favorite and let me know what do you think about the uh, active sound design with all electric vehicles. All right, guys, let's try a few corners and let's check out the handling capability. This is the performance model. So we even have an ELSD. So you should take it very nicely. Wow! Love the fact that the ESC isn't engaging too early, letting me just have some fun. And the, the chassis really felt rock solid. And I was just feeling that the car is, you know, stepping outside a little bit, but nonetheless, it felt very stable. I, I think it was just letting me have some more fun. Ah, too much, so much fun. So let's try it one more time. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time on this hard left. Wow, it's taking very nicely. I can really feel the rear popping out. <laughs> and uh, 
ELST, ESC and all-wheel drive especially just making this car stick to the ground and just turn. Very impressive. I mean, I think, like I told you, I think among Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, I think this Genesis GV60 performance model especially is the best performing car. Boost button. <laughs> and this Genesis GV60 also comes with adaptive cruise control working with lane keepers. As you can see, it's a very delicate system placing the car right on the center and also keeping a safe distance. Of course, in a minute or so, it's gonna say, hey driver, it's time to put your hands back on the steering wheel, like right now. But even before that, you should always keep your hands back on the steering wheel. Let me just put the car back into sports mode and this Genesis GV60 feels very stable, even on very high, high speeds. And it's quite nicely isolated because we have double laminated windows even for the first and second row passengers. And great, good brakes. All right, guys, this has been a test drive with the Genesis GV60. Many of you guys asked me, is it worth the extra money? Yes, I think so. It looks more premium. It just feels more luxurious. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and bye-bye.